from WTOC. The news starts now with breaking news. Well, thanks for joining us here on the news at five. I'm Mike C and I'm Dawn Baker. Guilty or not guilty? That is the question jurors are deliberating right now in the Leilani Simon murder trial. Simon is accused of killing her 20 month old son Quentin and then throwing his body in a dumpster. She was indicted for that crime on 19 counts, including malice murder, felony murder, concealing the death of another and making false statements. Our Shay Schrader joins us live outside the Chatham County Courthouse now. And Shay, jurors listened to nine days of testimony and closing arguments today. What's it been like in the courtroom today? Yes, in closing arguments, it's clear that both the prosecution and the defense were focusing on the first four counts of the indictment. That's the murder charges and the concealing a death of another charge. It's my biggest fear you're going to base it on emotion or something that's not completely or at all relevant. To the issue. Leilani Simon's defense attorney pleading with the jury that there is not enough physical evidence in the case to convict her on murder or concealing the death of another, pointing to testimony that a forensic examiner couldn't determine how Quentin died. Prosecutor Tim Dean warning the jury that that's exactly what Simon wanted when she killed Quentin. If you do that, you are, you're, you're bringing her plan to completion. Dean spent almost an hour and a half demonstrating the timeline of the night Quentin went missing for the jury, putting a bow on the narrative that the state says almost 40 witnesses and 100 pieces of evidence proved. That Simon's relationship with boyfriend Daniel Youngkin was in turmoil, so she was having an affair with her drug dealer to get male attention. When her drug dealer wasn't available that night, she got high and snapped, killing Quentin and throwing him in a dumpster. She seriously underestimated and did not understand the capabilities of people like the Chatham County Police Department and Detective Lemons, agencies like the FBI. Quentin's remains were ultimately recovered in an area of a landfill that investigators say was traced back to the dumpster Simon admitted to being at in the early morning hours the day she reported Quentin missing. Still, Hilliard casting suspicion on Youngkin and saying again that the state hasn't proved the murder or the concealing of death charges. And here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, about the burden of proof and circumstantial evidence. When there's a tie in the evidence like that, the tie goes to the defendant every single time. The state leaving the jury with a powerful message about Quentin before the jury headed for deliberation. But what we can do for baby Quentin now is give him justice. He deserves justice. You can give him the justice he deserves. And you can give her the justice she deserves. Jury went into deliberations around three o'clock this afternoon, and I just got word from the courtroom that Judge Stokes has called the jury back in, not because they've delivered a verdict, but because they are requesting a copy of the indictment against Leilani Simon and because they are asking to go home for the night and resume uh, deliberations tomorrow. There is no official decision yet from Stokes, but I'm being told that it seems like she is in agreement that the jury should go home. As soon as we have a verdict, we're going to let you know here on WTOC, so stick with us for those updates. And we will, of course, let you know later in the show what the ultimate decision is about the jury going home tonight. Stick with us for that. Live outside the Chatham County Courthouse, Shay Schrader, WTOC News. WTOC will be both on air and online as soon as a jury reaches a verdict. See all the testimony so far throughout the trial on our website, WTOC.com. Just look for this story on our homepage or the Quentin Simon case page.